This is Electroman Adventures from 1967, and it's one of the best main levels in Geometry Dash. But what if we recreate it in Update 2.2, Geometry Dash's most hyped update ever? Well, today we're gonna figure out by completely revolutionizing the level, making it contain very dramatic parts, super confusing mazes, and much more. But to make things 10 times harder, I decided to give myself only 10 hours to finish. Alright, so the first thing that I did was make some block design, and surprisingly, the block design is actually inspired by the block design in Electroman Adventures. <laughs> for some reason. Okay, so we gotta transfer this into Geometry Dash 2.2. First off, let's start the timer. Boom. Now we work. Boom. Okay, so first thing, like I said, we're gonna make this block design. Okay, so you create your template and then all you gotta do is just uh, fill in the block design. I gotta work really quickly because I don't have a lot of time. Hey, yo, look how beautiful this already looks. Okay, so I finally finished. This took me about 30 minutes, 25 minutes. That's fine. Okay, let's see if it... <laughs> I hope it's gonna work. Let's see, something like that. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, that's that's kind of broken. Right, so I added these tiny lines right here for some reason. And let's see, it should it should work. Let's do something like something like that. Boom. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. Holy shoot. Let's see if this is gonna work now. Yo! Oh my god, that's really nice. Let's try something. I wanna try something, right? If, if this works, you gotta subscribe my god look at that all right now that the template is done i think it's time for us to make some gameplay let's first choose uh Electroman adventures okay so there's like this uh beat i think i'm gonna do spider for this part oh my god i'm so excited to make the part for this music Yeah, there is a straight play right here because why not? Okay, so I tried to focus on the music sync a lot. So let's see. Okay, so I added some shaders right here. So you go sepia. And now I'm going to add some camera rotation. Just like this part in the sneak peek. All right, let's see. Yo, this is really nice. The music sync is so cool. Okay, so I think I got to zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, let's now work on the block design, I guess. All right, let's see if this actually works. Boom, so we select all of them and then... Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Oh my God, I have to recreate everything now. Oh no. Okay, now let's make sure we click the right button. It's browse, create. Oh my God, let's see. Oh. Oh my god, that's so perfect. Okay, I just gotta make these invisible. Okay, so I added some spikes and let's see how it's gonna play. Oh my, wait, what? Why can I not see my spider? What is going on? Okay, this dash orb is way too hard. The colors, oh my god. Boom. All right, let's now make some uh, ground spikes. And now we add some variations. So we do this, boom. Okay, so we added some variations, and all I gotta do now is just create the ground spike. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I hope I hope this is gonna work. Oh my god, it does! Holy! Yeah, that, that's that's almost like a finished level now. Okay, let's add custom background, actually. Oh, yo, look at this. So if you want to make, like, a custom background, you can lock the object to the camera and then do, like, that. Like, some modifier. And boom, you have your custom background. Yo. That's nice. All right, so Electroman Adventures also uses these. These what's uh? These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he uses these uh saw blades. So I'm gonna use them too because they are cool too. Okay, so I have eight and a half hours remaining, and this is how far we are. Oh my god, yo! That's almost a finished level, actually. Okay, now up to the ship part, I guess. Okay, so I made this structure, which kind of looks cool. Like, like also these monsters, they look kind of cool. Okay, so I gotta decorate this even more. So let's enable Viper node. Oh my god, what was that? Holy shoot. Okay, that was so weird. Anyway, let's now make the block design, I guess. Alright, boom, we have now custom background. 
looks kind of nice. Right. Ooh. Okay, so I want to use the area trigger. I just got to figure out how to even use it. If you don't know what area trigger does, it basically does this. You hold this. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. So I want to have this effect in my level. So I'm going to have to yoink. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, I just gotta figure out how this guy did it. Oh my god, what is that? Holy shoot. Okay, I'm not gonna figure out how to make it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and boom, boom. Let's hope that it actually works. Okay. Yo, it does, lol. It does not work in the editor though, which is kind of annoying. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hopefully this is gonna look cool. Oh my god, you see like these small blocks? Okay, so look at this. Boom, boom, create. Let's go, easy. All right, let's see. I hope this is gonna look cool. This is really awesome. I like it. I really like this part for some reason. All right, so after this, I think I'm gonna go arrow trigger. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna go up. So I'm just gonna rotate this vertically like that. Boom. Okay, so this arrow trigger goes like this. Oh my god, that's gonna be perfect. I'm so excited to make this part up here. It's gonna be really cool. Let's first make this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm really excited. I added some structure. Oh my god. Yo, this is this is actually fun now. This is starting to get really fun. Okay, let's add some soul blades, I guess. Alright, boom, let's go. Let's uh let's try it in normal mode. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, one thing I really like about this part is that these lines are only there where you're supposed to go. You see? Which is cool, because when the effects applies as well, like that... Boom, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's really cool! Let's continue now, I guess. Now it's time for the best part, I think. Now, maybe the final drop part, like this one, is gonna be, like, the best ever. Oh my god, I just spilled my cup of drink. Oh no. Okay, that's a mess now. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I've been recording for about um three hours almost. Four hours maybe. Three, I, I don't know. I need help. Help me in the comments how many hours are. Okay, so I changed some colors and it looks a little bit better, I would say. Boom. Oops, okay. I'm still working on- Oh my god, I just did a glow up for the entire level, look at this. Okay. Holy shoot. Oh, look who's here! Hello, Glamy, how are you doing? Do you like this part that I made? Oh, thank you so much, Glamy. Uh, would you like to say something to the viewers? <laughs> Yo, that's that's really nice from you, dude. All right, now it's time for some toilet break. Boom. Okay, so this is the structure for this part. Let's do boom. Yo, this part is really cool. I don't know what happened, but I just put a start position right here, and then I just press play. And this looks kind of nice. Okay, so I added some uh, more shaders at the very end. Oh my god, why is it so laggy? <laughs> oh no! What is happening? Okay, so I made a really cool part. So I just, first of all, I made the gravity a lot higher. And then I used the time warp trigger to, you know, speed up the gameplay. Which turned out pretty cool. But this, uh, the editor is too hard to work with. So Okay, so I made the layout for this part. And it's pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. So you go here. Look at this. Okay, so this part is... Like right here, it's pretty unfinished, but I just gotta decorate this one and let's see if the music sync is gonna be messed up or not. Hopefully not, but probably it is, so yeah. Uh, duh. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad, it's not good. It's very much messed up, okay? Oh my god, what? Okay, okay, this is way better now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. 
this is really nice now okay so for this part uh the first thing i want to do is just add the ground spikes because it's probably the easiest thing to start with boom let's go all right bottom done okay so this structure is now done let's just remove the these ones because now it looks way better let's add more block design right here boom now this looks way better let's copy and paste this one as well okay so i've been recording for about five hours and i still have five hours left to finish this level i'm kind of afraid to not be able to finish it but i'm gonna try my best and hopefully we're gonna be able to do it all right let's see i hope this is gonna look cool Okay, so this actually looks like a sort of finished level. So the block design is pretty okay. And the atmosphere is also really nice. I like this. All right, let's continue, baby. Okay, so for this part, I want to do like a little maze. Okay, <laughs> okay. so this took a lot of time, but I made this maze. So you jump up here and then you're on the wall. You go up there on the wall again. You jump here. Boom. And then you hit all of these orbs. And then you get back here. And then this orb, this is going to get unlocked, so you can click it and go reverse. You jump here, double click, and then your ship, and then you're supposed to go through here. So let's see if I can pull it off. Like that. Okay, so let's polish this a little bit. Uh, boom. Right, then we do boom, boom, boom! Let's go! Oh, that was so close! Oh, oh my god, okay, so I added some edge triggers, which are basically just there to, you know, limit the camera movements. Like, as you can see now, the camera won't move too much to the right, because I put the edge on this block right here. You see? Okay, that's actually very difficult. Um, okay, so let's see if this actually works. I just copied the background effect. Yo, this actually works. Let's go. Okay, nice. This part is finished, I think. Okay, now it's broken. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, yo. I just gotta make don't enter and don't fade. And then we're good to go. Whoops. Oh. Alright. No. Okay, I'm gonna stop being goofy and just play. Now you may say, well, but Electroman Adventures doesn't really have a robot part. Well, you are correct, I guess. But that doesn't mean we can't make cool parts like these ones. So yeah. All right, perfect. How much time do we have left? I have three hours and 20 minutes left. And I think I might be able to pull this off. If, if I don't, then well, it's a, it's a big L for me. <laughs> All right, so I added these area triggers and these are actually completely different from the ones that we used in this part so what these ones do is basically you can customize how the objects enter and exit the camera so basically on this one i said on the length of 133 what you do is you just cue the color to 180 degrees and the saturation and brightness is going to be changed as well so so if you pay attention to the to the corners of the screen like on the very right on the very left you can see like there's like a huge change look at this you see that so let's try this uh, on the very first part. Let's see if this is actually gonna look cool. Yeah, you can see like the very the corners of the screen. They're like changing the hue. I think that's a very nice touch. The level so far has 22,000 objects and the only part left is the very last part. All right, so I made the final part. Uh, it's not 100% done, but um, yeah. Here it is. As you can see, there are a lot of issues. Okay, so I got two hours remaining and I think I'm, I'm very exhausted. So <laughs> I'm going to try to polish the level as much as I can and maybe make like one more part. Okay, so I added one more swing copter part. Let's see how it's going to play. Yo, 
This is really cool. Okay, so I, I finished the ball part and I also added this beautiful cube with... Okay, he has three eyes, but in reality only two, so that's okay. Let's see how he's gonna look like in the game. This is really trippy. Oh my god. Yo, he's cool. Alright, that's beautiful. This level is really cool. I really like the shock line effect. This is very nice. Okay, so I added some bulge shader and uh, it's kind of trippy, not gonna lie, because it's now a little bit harder to control the player, which is fun because it's, it's like the final part. Most people are like really nervous. <laughs> Maybe that's too much, I don't know. Okay, so now the whole level is finished, but I still gotta polish some things, so... Now, you may be wondering, why did I not add any UFO parts? And that's because, well, UFO is garbage. Let's play from zero and see what I can improve. I still have... Wait, how much time do I have? Oh my god, I only have half an hour remaining and then... Ah, oh, that's, that's gonna be tough. Oh my god, finally. That took a lot of time, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I have 21 minutes left. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my goodness, it's been 10 hours. Oh, the level is finally finished and whenever I reach 100k subscribers, I'm gonna upload this level for you guys to play. Let me know which part of this level you like the most. To me, it was probably this part because the music is just too good. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to smash subscribe and smash like for more. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go sleep now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.